Yo, welcome back. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft episode. Uh, today we are, well, we're still going to do some techie stuff today, I think. Uh, I do want to eventually make some bridges across the cat's place. Uh, we want to get the train stuff sorted there, but I do want to do that while she's online, and unfortunately she is not at the moment. Uh, she did, however, finish off this tower. Um, plenty of space in there for magic stuff. Again, there'll have to be a magic episode or two uh, coming up as I start filling that up with various bits and pieces. Uh, for today, though, well, let's first recap a little bit. Um, we've got some trees here going. I'm still trying to work my way towards the coconut tree so that we can get seed oil. Uh, we've got a little bit of the way with... Well, that's jungle wood, but it is actually a Brazil nut tree, um, which is quite handy. So we've got our bees going for that. Uh, the other thing is I did a few of the Ender I.O. quests, and that's opened up a bunch more Ender I.O. quests. Um, let's just zoom in. So yeah, good handy things like RF batteries. I may do that quest as well. The Ender uh, tools, including the Ender, which will be handy for getting more Ender pearls, um, which I'm running low on. Uh, and then... Yeah, the standard suite of sort of Ender IO tools. Uh, I also haven't done these two because this one here seems to be, well, it's blocked behind me needing sulfuric acid, which I haven't gotten around to making yet. Uh, the best way at this level seems to be from dilute sulfuric acid, which in turn is made from, uh, yeah, this one, just in the chemical reactor, hydrogen sulfide, which I have a ton of. So I'm gonna set up a processing line for that. Um, don't know whether I set MV or HV, maybe just MV for this one um, will be all right. Uh, and then the sodium persulfate, I think, is a little bit broken. I can't seem to find a way to make sodium persulfate nicely. Um, there's only seems to be a recipe for sodium bisulfate, and the bisulfate is, again, needs sulfuric acid and salt. Uh, we do get hydrochloric acid out of it. So yeah, maybe that is a way to do it once we get sulfuric acid. Sounds like I really need to get my sulfuric acid stuff sorted. Um, so we'll do that. And then the other bit is under tier four. Uh, I've made the opening bit of that, which was the HV machine hull. And that of course has opened up all of the fairly standard. I say fairly standard because there are a few other quests like getting to the moon uh, and the yeah, experience obelisk, which I've got the tank already doing. Uh, solarium which is made in yeah so we're gonna oh don't really have helium but solarium is made with yeah soul sand gold and ash pretty easy stuff as well so we might i might finish off a couple of these quests as well but in the meantime i need to run away and make a bunch of circuits and things that we're going to need uh, to get into this tier as well as yeah some pipes i think as well to start automating i've turned off the steve's carts we have our multi-farm happily running now although banking up all the time because you know i need to automate that hence needing some pipes yeah getting underway with hv basically so i'll be back in just a bit once i have made some circuits and made sure i've got a bit of the foundation materials needed uh, to get ahead a little bit further so see you back here in just a bit Alrighty, I am just making a medium voltage battery buffer. Uh, I've decided to get on with the sulfuric acid part of things. Now, everything actually might work out a lot nicer than I anticipated because over here at the moment, we're having our hydrogen sulfide dumped as cells into this chest here. Now, this pipe has a nice gap to go through here and it can come all the way through to here where I can build out my sulfuric acid. Um, and even better, this wooden fluid pipe here has water in it, which we're going to need. So what I'm thinking is we'll put, we'll put the chemical reactor straight under this pipe and in line with the cells. So maybe facing this way. So if we put it there, then the cells can come in and get piped in the side. This can process what it needs to process. We're going to need power for it. So this is where we've got the, uh, where are we? The battery buffer that I just made, which we'll put And there's power, yeah, there's power just under there. That's awesome. Okay, so what we can do is we'll have, 
we'll have the combustion generator there we'll have the battery buffer facing that way we'll have our copper cable in there we're going to need to just break a couple of these off so that we can hook this all up uh, let's make sure we have our two lithium batteries in there uh, now underneath we're going to need uh, probably wooden pipe I'm guessing I used uh, do I have a bunch of wooden pipe I do have nine of those ones <laughs> one small small yeah we'll leave the small one behind now do I have no I don't I need my wrench I've already got the wire cutters excellent so now over here smooth dark concrete now this is oh, that's steam going to there that is oh, it's a steam one the power is above the power is above okay so that is all oh, right it's this right here okay yes yeah, small wooden fluid pipe so I'm gonna need to run that across and yeah oh mind you this is the new Greg tech style pipe so we should be able to do it without them actually mixing with each other yeah I think this I think this plan is still a plan so let's just get some water happening into here awesome so there's some water now I'm gonna need a bunch of small pipes let's throw the distillery down on top of there the output into there and that is going to be fluid auto output and then on the back of this we're gonna have to pull the empty cylinders out the empty cells out in fact we can pull the empty cells out we can probably pull it out from the same side as the pipe that is putting it in so yeah and we're only needing one of these to power this we've got two of these for the two amps that these need but what I've been thinking is they are not gonna be running all the time they're just gonna be running often enough um, to dispose of the hydrogen sulfide as we as we go through all right I will race away just one more time I do want to go and make a bunch of these small wooden fluid pipes we'll get that piped through to here yeah for the gas yep fuel through to there uh, and I'll make sure that um, we've got all the other pipes and bits and pieces we need um, be back in just a sec all right I'm back and I've made a few bits and pieces I've got myself an item terminator chip we've got to stuff some routed interface pipes uh, even to do the stuff on here uh, we also have which I've left back in a chest a whole pile of actual transport pipes so what I'm hoping what I'm hoping what I'm hoping is that we can get first of all our small wooden fluid pipe let's grab yep fuel from there it's gonna go now this is where it's it tricky and we don't oh yeah I do like these new GT6 style pipes because we can do that do that do that and then we have fuel in there and once the buffer fills up we should start getting yay some power in those cool so that's power happening there now we need the routed interface pipe to be on there I've got two of them but I don't think I'll need them we need to this is gonna be a mess of pipes but that's kind of what I wanted for the um <laughs> green awesome so now we can put this pipe in here now in here I've got the config set to just hydrogen sulfide as the terminator uh, no damage groups dictionary ignored MBT matched yep yep which is all the things we want priority I don't know higher priority more so let's just give it a priority of five to make sure it goes in there we'll throw that that way awesome now chemical reactor we've got the water and we've got that 
Now let's have a quick look at sulfuric acid. Now distillery, we're gonna need a program circuit one and the diluted is, yeah, just that. And then the stuff is going out. So we are gonna need an extractor there as well. I've just realized our program circuit one, oh, I've got a program circuit three on me. Let's just quickly run back and turn this into a circuit one. See, all this is hydrogen sulfide here. So I'm gonna to have to get that out um, in cells again. Now, I don't know where the circuit three came from, but I don't think I need it to be a three anymore. Uh, configuration one is good enough. Uh, we're going to need we're going to need, we're going to need to connect those two. So we have power. Well, wow, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide has already made it across here. Awesome. So it's already terminating there from over this way somewhere. I must have had some hydrogen sulfide running. Maybe I left one of these running. Yes, I did. I left this one running. Fantastic. Cool. So let's just flick that off because, wow, okay, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that, that proves that the cell already comes across here. That's fantastic. Now, in here, we should have our diluted. Uh, we can put our configuration one in. Hey, sulfuric acid. We are now getting sulfuric acid. So what are we going to do with that? We are going to need to pipe that out to something. Let's just see how much we get, first of all. So we'll grab, we'll grab that, we'll grab the dolly, 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 where is the dolly? Going blind, there it is. So we'll grab that. Now we're also going to need something to grab the empty cells back out, but at the moment, broadcaster, item responder, item responder, extractor. Woo. So if we do an extractor with an empty cell, that was just a universal one that I was using. Now I was going to use that to put stuff in and out of cells, but I don't actually need that now that I've got it running. So the empty cells, this is already over here has a thing that's collecting empty cells for me. So what we can do is we can grab that 64. You know what, let's grab the empty one, grab the extracted chip. We will need to match that. And what's that one? Orientation extract. Extraction not simulated. Let's grab from. Well, we might not need to. We might not need to. Let's just do that and see what happens. Now we're going to need to put some more of these in. Okay, the empty is there. We may need to do the extraction simulation. So what this will have happen is, oh, these are still going up. That's pretty cool. Ah, right, because that's not, yeah, it's not doing anything yet. So we're gonna need to have sulfuric acid somewhere. ladder is not really in a good spot you know what let's just have that there for now can we can we connect that probably awesome and fluid auto output Awesome, we're getting sulfuric acid. Now, has the cells gone? No, the cells have not gone. So we are gonna need to grab the extractor, probably simulate, maybe simulate from the bottom. Let's see how we go. There was a flash and nothing was happening. So which side do we wanna extract from? We wanna simulate probably the back side, which is the eastern side let's try the eastern side and see what happens uh, from the east 
And we're definitely taking empty cells. MBT is checked or dictionary ignored. Yes. Items are black. <laughs> right. Filter mode needs to be on whitelisted. Let's make sure that the extraction is not simulated again. That might have just been the whole problem. Empty cell. Throw another one of those in. All right. So clearly we still need something. Let's try bottom again. Bottom is usually a good spot to extract from. No, we might have been right with the Eastern all along, although it does sometimes take a little while for these things to go. And how much are we getting? Oh yeah, so we've thrown in What's that, eight? Yeah, we've thrown in eight, well, nine actually, because there was an extra hydrogen sulfide. So we've thrown nine hydrogen sulfide in. That is completely processed, and we've ended up with half of that in sulfuric acid. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, this is still not working. Let's try for east. Let's try for east, and let's leave it going for a bit. Cool. Now... I'll have to try and figure out what's wrong with that extractor. I don't know why that is not working. That should extract and come up and over here because in this one here, we have a stock keeper chip and the stock keeper does have a, um, it does have an empty cell configured in it. Yeah, empty cell and oxygen. So I would expect them to turn up here, but maybe not. Maybe it does need to be a termination rather than a stock keeper. Because I think, yeah, I'm not sure if the stock keeper pulls things. Yeah, this is where I'm a little bit hazy on these pipes. I'm not sure whether the stock keeper will only pull from active, um, active things like the broadcaster. So if I had a broadcaster that was broadcasting. And you can see that here. Oh, well, there's no, nothing in there. It's a broadcast. But when you've got a broadcaster usually the stock keeper will keep the stock only when something is broadcast because that's what i'm using to put the hydrogen into here extractor chip yep so that's the extractor that is extracting the empty back out as well and the empties were flowing to here but one of the things that was in here before is i actually had the um termination chip and that's where i i stole this termination chip from yeah that is very clearly not coming out and that is, yeah, not, not too bad on power. It's using a little bit of power up, but that's okay. Yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to make another one of those termination chips. Uh, not entirely sure how bad that is to make. Some gray and some purple. LV chip template. I've got some of those already. All right, so I might make another one of these and see how we go um, with putting the terminator over here so that there's a valid destination for that empty cell. All right, I'll run away again. I'll make that last um, termination thing and we'll come back and see where we go from there for this episode. I haven't done any more of the tier four stuff which I wanted to get into this episode. Um, nothing is too exciting there just yet though. So I, I'm not sure if that'll make for an exciting episode. Um, although this is doing pretty well. Um, Jane will be happy since uh, she's the one that's been telling me all all season basically make sure you save your sulfur, your, uh, your hydrogen sulfide because you're gonna need sulfuric acid and sure enough now I need sulfuric acid all right I'll be back in just a bit so I'm back just quickly I have replaced this with the terminated chip and the terminated chip is set to have just oxygen and oxygen and empty cells and sure enough it is pulling the empty cells well, has pulled the empty cells out of here. So now I can put that in. Empty cell gets pulled straight away. There we go. Cool, so that's obviously what it needs to happen. So you need, for extractors, you need terminators and for stock keepers, you need broadcasters. So that'll be how the pairing uh, matches up for that. And here we have our empty cells going straight back into there. Now I will, I need to make a whole bunch more stuff to automate the whole thing because I want empty cells to go back in over here. Although I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep using this sort of oil. Uh, the oil is, yeah, the oil starting to get low and on the map, if we go down here, I have actually made that one dry and I've extended the track all the way out to this one here where I've also, 
um, pumped out quite a bit of the oil there although I see there's another one over here so I could potentially run the tracks uh, even further over there to get some more or even down over here Ooh, there's a house there. Should go and look at that at some point. Uh, so yeah, so there are still a couple of oil fields around there. Looks like there's one over there as well. Pretty far to go for railway, but you know, railways are fun. Why not? Why not make them go far? Uh, so the only other thing that is really left to do is to process enough of... Well, I can gain all my tanks back for a start. So I can grab... In fact, I might do this using the empty cells just because I need them in cells anyway da, 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 da. it's just a click extravaganza and the last one always ends up always ends up extra for some reason so now that's got 64 in there we can now break that one off and break that one off and we can replace them over here on top of that it's a good enough spot for now uh, and we can throw that in can we do both of them ah oh, yeah excellent so it can handle having both of them in there of course this with that much sulfuric acid yeah it's going to gradually use these batteries up there may be enough charge in there yeah there probably will be enough charge actually to process two stacks of it oh, that's okay and this is happily throwing all the empties back out over to here everything is working as expected fantastic all right so i'm because my videos have not been <laughs> that regular recently i've had yeah, there's been a lot of stuff going on outside of the game world. Um, I might actually end this episode here. We have our sulfuric acid now, and that will lead us on to the stuff down here, which I do want to get to wherever it is. Yeah, the plastic circuit board. So once again, another chemical reactor. So I'm going to need to make another one of those. Uh, we can have yeah, polyvinyl chloride polytetrafluoroethylene so ptfe is a fairly common um sort of plastic i think and that's probably going to be one of the better ones to do going forward although for now polyethylene will do um so yeah i'm going to need to make a chemical reactor for that and we're going to need or copper foil is pretty easy and then this one needs to be yeah either iron 3 chloride or sodium persulfate now we did make some iron 3 chloride in one of the previous episodes but it is a little bit of a it's a little bit of a pain to make sodium persulfate may end up being easier uh, especially since we've got a quest for it but we'll see how that goes um, i may do that next time i may do that between now and next time uh, one of the other things i want to do and you might have noticed i've sort of removed the roof here i'm actually thinking we might we might just do this along here and make it a double a double height room again because this is really starting to get a bit cramped down there yeah and having a taller room might be might be the way to go at least over to here because we've got our train which i'll need to go and get some more oil as well um but this is you know if we cut this off here like this maybe yeah this is probably going to be okay and then I'll, I might push all of this wall back quite a long way yeah that might be something I do between now, now and next time that's a bit of a, a, a sort of a mindless uh, mindless task to do that you don't really want to watch um, alright so um, that is all for me for this time as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time